Hello everyone, welcome back to my birding channel. I'm here along the old railway green corridor beside the Alexandra Hospital. Today, I will take you to a birding spot nearby that has a very long history. Going back all the way to the end of the 19th century, back to the old British colonial days when they occupied this area and made it into one of their main military bases called Alexandra Barracks. At the beginning of the 20th century, this area beside Alexandra Barracks was a huge swampland fed by rainwater coming off Alexandra Ridge. Today we call that Ridge Kent Ridge. And in 1906, the British Army managed to build a rifle range here. The rifle range stretched from that spot near the building all the way up the hillside for about 500 yards, about 450 meters in today's measurement. It was called the Normanton Barracks Rifle Range. So, while the British soldiers shot their Lee Enfield rifles and Vickers machine guns here in the past, we'll be using our cannons instead today to shoot our targets, as well as our Nikons and our Sonys. 15 years later, in 1922, the rifle range was converted into an oil storage depot to store bunker fuel for the Royal Navy ships. It became the Normanton Oil Depot which was built directly on the old rifle range. During World War II, the oil depot was a prime target for the invading Japanese army. When the British forces left Singapore in 1971 and returned the land to us, the Port of Singapore Authority, or PSA, continued to use these oil tanks until 1975 when PSA dismantled and removed all the oil storage tanks. The land was then left to fallow. And over the next 45 years, guess what happened? As this place is low-lying, rainwater started collecting and slowly the swamp returned. The land reverted into a nature refuge, untouched. Until recently, when this entire Potsdam and Bona Vista areas were earmarked for redevelopment. Today, only this section is left of the original oil storage depot. The depression it left behind created a trapped rainwater pond hidden and known only to wildlife photographers or birders. Just five years ago, this place was hardly visited by anyone. But in recent years, it was outed as part of some heritage or hiking trail on social media, especially in the last year or so due to the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. It has become a very busy nature attraction where people could come to relieve their stress of being confined at home. So I can say it's no longer hidden, but it is still a gem for birders and wildlife photographers. I can hear lots of parakeets in the trees here. This episode of my Hidden Gem series will be a bit different from all my other birding videos. I will not be telling you what birds you can find here. Why not? It's because I want you 
to come here yourself to see why it's a hidden gem for birders all this while. Okay, maybe just to tempt you a little bit, look at the photos that I have flashed so far in this video. And I can tell you that I have heard the call of the red bill blue magpie here before. To get to this hidden pond, simply walk from Queensway across the heavy vehicle parking lot that is actually now closed. To the rail corridor beside the Hang Jebat Mosque. If you are driving, you can enter by Jalan Hang Jebat from Portsdown Avenue. Go along the canal beside the rail corridor until you see a blue flood water marker. Beside this marker, you will see a well-trodden path leading into the bushes. Take this path into the bushes. Don't forget to look for the birds along your way in, especially among the fruit trees. Many years ago, a tall albizia tree fell over during a storm. Some urban explorer decided to create a rest stop out of the fallen trunk. And today, hikers and urban explorers have christened it the Lost Ark. These people have done a great job doing it up. So please take care and don't cause it any damage so that everyone that comes after can enjoy the facility. Just beside this fallen tree is the highlight of this birding place, the rainwater pond. It is here that you will find the best birding spot. Look for wobblers among the reeds at the edge of the water and kingfishers perching, waiting to dive into the pond. Thank you for watching this video and for bearing with me up to this point. If you have just learned about this hidden birding location, give this video a like. Or if you simply enjoyed watching this video. And if you have not done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to my birding channel so you can see more of my birding in Singapore trips. Until I see you again in my next video, Happy birding, stay safe, and bye.